need to hear from I love it. This is that's the beauty. I love the beauty of you. I love it. I love it. Give it up for Spence. So you have Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. All right, our first comic is up. Give a round of applause for Vance Dykes. Yeah. I love your name. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. for over a month now, and I gotta say, I enjoy every minute of it, And but I do have a concern. You see, I'm trying to keep my jokes as clean as possible because I'm studying to become a priest in the Episcopal Church, and the Episcopal Diocese of Central Florida is watching me like a religious big brother. I always feel like somebody's watching me, I have no privacy. <laughs> now I know how Rockwell feels. If I had to grade myself on how clean my jokes are, I would, I would give myself a 95 out of 100. That's a decent score, right? Yeah, it's still an A. I pass, because I'm smart. But I just can't shake off this feeling that at some point the bishop's gonna call me to his office and he's gonna say, look, Vance, you're a nice guy and everything, but I've been watching your videos on YouTube and you're just not behaving like a priest. I'm sorry, I can't ordain you. In that moment, I'm gonna stand tall, proud with every ounce of dignity that I have. And I'm going to say, No, but in all seriousness, folks, if that does happen, it's not a big loss. You know, there's other things that I can do. I'm an open-minded person. I can be a, a professor in a seminary. Now, that's a good career, right? Yeah. The thing is, trying to figure out what seminary is the right one for me. To be a professor at this seminary, or not to be a professor at this seminary. God, this is the question. Do a little Shakespeare here. Hamlet. And one of my top choices is St. Leo's University, which is burn down in Tampa Bay. It's the best university. It's a Catholic university, and um, I have to be honest. I've always wanted to go to a Catholic school, and I feel like now's the best time to do that now that I'm an adult. I don't have to worry about a priest staring at me in a creepy way when I wear my gym shorts in gym class. <laughs> Even priests have to go to confession, folks. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna do something a little different in this performance. I've been doing a lot of research into North Korea, and the one story that really terrifies me is the one about Megumi Yakoda. She was a young Japanese girl who was kidnapped by the North Koreans, taken back to their country, and forced to be a language teacher for their federal agents, teaching them the Japanese language. Why? I honestly have no idea, but since we're talking about North Korea, it ain't good. So what I did was, I scheduled an interview with the Supreme Leader of North Korea himself, Kim Jong-un, and he's actually here tonight, so ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the Supreme Leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un! I think I just 
pooped in my pants. <laughs> that pretty much means my time is up. You guys have been a great audience today. Hey. Capitalism sucks. Socialism is good. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo! I like this little guy. <laughs> All right. You just had that to hold the camera. I have a question. Did you make that? No, I'm not just that talented. A lot of time at home, tinkering around in the basement. No, I bought it from a company. Bought it from a company? Okay, so which company they said it's all the company. All right, guys, please welcome your next comment. We got, sorry, we got the music at the beginning.